this is Leo and welcome back to Space Lab. This video is about a new feature of Space Lab Interstellar that allows you to record source automation directly on tracks containing Space Lab Beam. The addition of this new feature means that you can record source automation in two ways. The first or original method of doing this is by using the dynamic automation feature of Space Lab, in which automation is recorded on the track where the Space Lab plugin is located. This method is still available and you can keep using it if you like. The second new method lets you record the source parameter automation data on the track where the beam plugin is located. This can be handy in cases where edits are still being made to the timeline of a project. By storing the automation data on the same track containing your audio clips, it means that if you move an audio clip around in your timeline, the automation data can easily move with it. Now, to implement this new method of recording automation, we have created a separate mode for Spacelab. This mode can be selected in the About window of Spacelab and it works session-wide, meaning that changing the mode in one instance of Spacelab will affect all instances of Spacelab in your session. It's also possible to set this mode as the default so that whenever you instantiate Spacelab in a new session, this mode will already be selected. Now you'll need to be careful when switching to source automation in Beam because doing so will delete all dynamic automation lanes of source parameters from Spacelab. Also be aware that source automation in Beam and the classic mode cannot be mixed. In other words, when you switch to classic mode, all Spacelab instances in your session are automatically switched to have source automation in Spacelab. And finally, when automating your sources via Beam, no source in Spacelab can receive audio from the plugin input. The audio can only come from a Beam plugin. So if no Beam plugin is selected, the source will be silent and inactive. Once a source is connected to a Beam plugin, it becomes active and receives audio and parameter updates from that Beam plugin. Source parameter automation done through Beam works differently than automation done through Spacelab. Although a source can have several objects, the position of each object is recorded on separate automation lanes. Spread, dry wet, mute, solo, LFE dry wet, and volume or beam gain, however, still affect all objects of a source. Also, as you may have noticed, the big automate button below the source parameter knob disappears since it is not needed in this mode. Let's go step by step and first have a look at how to simply automate the dry wet parameter. All source parameter changes in Spacelab are now directly sent to the connected beams. That means that if you have your DAW set to a mode for recording automation, for example, if you have latch mode switched on, then changes in Spacelab will be recorded on the track of beam. Let's do that with dry wet now. First, we'll need to set automation to latch. Press play and adjust the dry wet parameter. So many others You picked your battles wrong I'm not the one you should be after Why feel superior? As you can see, the automation for this parameter has been recorded on the track with the Beam plugin on it. Now let's switch the automation mode back to read and press play to see if the recorded automation is correctly applied. So many others You picked your battles wrong I'm not the one you should be after Why feel superior To someone who has been there for you Et voila, that wasn't so difficult. You can use the same method to automate other parameters like source volume or beam gain, spread, mute, solo. And if you happen to have an LFE in your source format, you can automate that dry wet parameter as well. When it comes to positioning, things are slightly more complex. With positioning, both positioning modes are available when automating the Beam plugin. If the source is room related, then the X, Y, and Z are automated. If the source is listener related, then azimuth, elevation, and distance are automated. Unlike automation in Spacelab, each object now has its own set of automation lanes for positioning. You can still select an arbitrary set of objects and move them around for position automation, 
either by using the knobs or directly in the panner. Let's do that for two objects of our source here. So again, let's first switch automation to latch. Now in Spacelab, let's pick two objects, press play and record our desired automation. Let's first do this by using the knobs and then moving the selected objects around directly in the panner. To many others you picked your battles wrong i'm not the one you should be okay so now let's switch automation back to read and play back the section with our recorded automation to verify that everything is working as expected To many others You picked your battles wrong I'm not the one you should be after Why feel superior? Finally, keep in mind that if you change your source type after having its position automation recorded, this automation is not lost. It's still there. It's just not being applied. If you switch the source type back, then your automation will work again just as it did before. This happens because for each object, there are automation lanes for both room-related position as well as for the listener-related position parameters. We use the beauty, we see the dreams of many others. To many others you picked your battles wrong i'm not the one you should be after if you want to automate more than one source just set your daw's automation mode to latch or its equivalent setting on all corresponding beam tracks and automate away and that's it for beam automation thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one